Hi guys! We're here with another video. Big surprise. <laughs> um, this paper is a little bit dirty, but it's a little bit of schmutz, but you know what? I think we're going to use it anyways. I am going to take some blue painter's tape and I'm going to tape off a square-ish thing in about the middle of this paper. I don't always do it this way when I watercolor, um, but I do occasionally. And it just gives you a nice clean border. I tend to be a little messy with all of my painting, no matter the medium. So this just helps me sort of stay sort of contained. We are here today with a video uh, collab hop with some friends of mine here on YouTube. The links for all of their videos will be in the description below. The list of participants is not limited to but does include Peg Robinson, Vicki Brown um, of Messy Table Studios, um, Cindy Utter, uh, Leslie McGrath of Leslie's Creative Studio. Um, at the moment those are the ones I can think of. There may be more, I'm not sure. Um, we're calling it Pick Your Passion, and um, it's a collaborative hop. We're all doing something different, depending on what our passion is in art and life. And for me, of course, the beginning of my creative um, artistic mixed-media painterly journey was watercolor, and it always has been a passion of mine. I love watercolor paints. If you made me give up 90% of my art supplies tomorrow and only keep one thing, I'd keep the watercolor. How's that? <laughs> um, I just love my watercolor paints. That's a little bit crooked, so let's fix that while we're chatting. Um, so, so yeah, I absolutely love my watercolor paints. Today we are going to do a little watercolor painting from a picture I took on one of the evening walks with my husband. Um, I always have my cell phone with me. I always take pictures when we're out walking. Um, he frequently um, is telling everybody else if there's other people in our party um, to hang on. He's sort of my keeper and handler. Um, <laughs> I called him that once before. People thought it was funny, but it's actually kind of true. I do have jingle bells on my handbag, and it drives a lot of people crazy. He actually kind of likes it because he knows exactly where I'm at. So anyway... Um, so we are going to do this watercolor painting. I'm going to speed forward through most of the process or we would be here for God knows how long. I will be putting a full speaking tutorial up over on my Patreon. So if you want to see um, that full speaking one and you want full a full tutorial, it will be over here. I do think here on YouTube, although the video is going to be fairly short, I think you're going to get enough um, instruction that you can go forward in and play and experiment on your own. Um, this is the picture that I want to play with for the painting. Isn't that a beautiful flower? Again, I was taken with my cell phone. It's what I use. Nothing fancy. I have a smartphone and I it has a good camera and so that's what I use. Uh, and before anybody asks, I have an iPhone. It's not the latest one. I think it's iPhone 7. Uh, with a cracked screen, fun fact. <laughs> um, but I take all my pictures with it. And I will be updating this photo and, along with uh, adding a few other new ones to my website. I have an inspiration photo page on my website. The photos are free for you all to use. Um, there's no copyright or anything on them. And they're all pictures I've personally taken. So if you want to create some art inspired by this photo, go over there and you can get it from there. I'll link it in the description below with everybody else's video links. So I'm going to take this photo and I am going to take one of my colored pencils. I have these new ones which are really fun and these are colored mechanical pencils with colored lead. And I like not only playing with these but these are great for my travel kit which is what I got them for because I don't have to bring a pencil sharpener. I love that. So anyway, I'm going to pick one of these colors. Um, 
depending on, now these aren't water soluble. These are plain old color pencils. And so the mark the pencil leaves behind is gonna stay. So I could go with a light highlight color or I could go with a dark shadow color. I do think I'm gonna go with a dark shadow, shadow color and I think I'm gonna pick purple, which is probably not the one anyone expected. And I'm gonna go ahead and sketch out a basic shape for my flower first, then we're gonna to get to painting. So I'm gonna speed th forward through my process and I'll pop back in when I think there's something relevant that you all need to know about. I will be right back. For you guys in the quick version here, once you get your colored pencil drawing on of your piece that you're creating, um, then I want you to just use some colors inspired by your inspiration photo um, um, of washes in the background. We're really going to focus on painting the flower, the primary focal point, and we're not going to spend tons of time on painting the background. We want to hint at and suggest the background. So I want you to do some washes, in, in this case like a blue, grays, and greens of colors in the background. And um, then we're going to dry that and then move on to the foreground, the flower. 
In between colors I'm drawing them, it will eliminate um, too much mixing of colors and too much muddiness. So I do have my heat gun here plugged in next to me and we're gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've started my flower by adding my lighter colors in first. This flower, uh, particular painting, I don't always do this, but with this particular painting, I, uh, while I want my colors to lay on top of each other, that makes it interesting for me, watercolor painting, I don't necessarily want them to blend a lot. Um, so I am gonna dry each color um, in between, uh, putting on the next color. So I'm gonna dry my um, yellow colors. I put all the yellow where I thought the highlights of the flower are. I'm going to dry it and then we're going to go in with progressively darker colors and see where we get.
Okay, so we have a good basic shape for our painting. You definitely could stop here. I'm not going to. Um, <clears throat> I added in all of my colors and shapes for the basic uh, idea and shape of the flower. Now it's time to go in and add some of these striking shadows that are in this flower center and on the petals. Okay, I want to add some darker pops and some lighter pops, which if I'm careful, I should be able to do with the watercolor paint without resorting to gel pens. I have no problem with that, but we're going to try it the way I'm thinking first. Um, and so here we go. Let's give it a try.
if you could create something you truly love, whether you end up selling it or not, it's always a good idea to take a picture of it. If you have a scanner, scan it. But there's a quick way to do an interesting watercolor painting, um, experimenting and playing with a medium I love. Uh, you don't have to have expensive, expensive tools and materials. Use what you have. I will say get a decent paintbrush. I love the Princeton Select brushes because, number one, they're a really good paintbrush, and number two, they're not expensive. Um, Princeton Neptune are good too. Those are the two brands that I, I have the most of. They're all Princeton brushes for the most part. Um, I have either the Neptune or so the Select. Um, I do think this one, this teeny round one, is something else but the price tag is over the barcode and I can't read it. It starts EL, it looks like. That's what I have my reading glasses on, but Princeton brushes, they're a good brush and you know, often they go on sale at your local art supply store, so check them out. I love them because the bristles never never fall out. How frustrating is it to work, be working on any painting project or glue project for that matter and be using a brush and have the bristles fall out and then have to pick them out, I hate that. I almost never have that with a Princeton brush. I have some expensive brushes, I never use them. So that's it, that's my tip for the day. Um, so use what you have, Koi Watercolors Work or another inexpensive brand, get a decent brush and play. Um, go to my website and um, look at the photos over there and see what inspires you to create a piece of art. Don't forget to show some love to the other channels in the collab. There's a lot of them in, de in the description below. They all are bringing it a new and unique spin on Pick Your Passion. I hope you found something interesting and useful here, um, whether you're watching the short version or the long version. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. And uh, check my link tree list of links for all the places you can follow me on social media or support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups. Uh, the most important thing, of course, is to go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later.